Hey, I just want to welcome everybody to the Northeast Street Rod Nationals here in the Essex Junction, just outside of Burlington. We're having a great time, looking for a big crowd, and just love to have you come out and join us. Um, this is uh, my 1957 Chevrolet convertible. I've owned it since I was 15 years old. I drove the car for years up until around 1980, 81. Put the car in storage. Did not touch the car until four years ago. Got the car out of storage. Completely rebuilt the car. The whole car is a home built car. Had a lot of help from Joe Trillo and Frank and the boys at, at uh, Custom uh, Cars. The chrome on the side designates the 150. Has an LS3 motor with a 4L70E trans. It's a custom color. The green is called Bowling Green. The black is Onyx Black. Um, the interior was done by Carlisle Restorations. It has the uh, cheap, original 57 Chevrolet interior material in it. Um, the, the top is a custom cloth top uh, installed by Bucks Interiors. Um, the steering wheel is a uh, 67 Camaro steering wheel. The uh, dash is Dakota Digital. It has a uh, powertrain uh, solutions control push button shifter for the trans. The car is going to be featured in uh, Street Scene magazine, probably sometime June or July of next year. Can you enjoy driving the car? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I backed at and of course it went at an angle and it was slightly mm -hmm. tilted and the gas gauge was obviously wrong now. Right. And all the fuel was on the opposite side of the sending unit. 
and I had to go send somebody to buy a gas gas so I could get off the ground. It's hard. Thank you. It's hard to look in that time. I know. <laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> Going. Come over there a minute and talk to me about your two cars here. <laughs> really? Tell me a little story about them. What we got? We're here today with my dad's car, 35 Roadster. He's had it since around 1967, I believe. And uh, we drove it up this year. We've been coming every year for 15 years. And uh, this is the first year without him. He passed away in April. His car's here. His whole family's here. My brother Charlie's 35 coupe, been in the family since shit, shit, 16, 06. 16, uh, 20 years. And that was my older brother Carl's car. Wow. He passed away and Charlie took it on. So you two guys are basically the curators of the cars, keeping yep. the legacy going, keeping the cars going. Yep. Correct. Bringing the shows. The Hoping that my brother's kids will buy it off me someday <laughs> so I can buy one of those 40 wheelies over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan. Yep. Yeah. George, this car came from Sandwich Mass, and uh, it's got a 48 flathead in it. And it, uh, it's not the best engine to drive up here, but it sure is fun. Yeah, it's a 454 big block. The old man Ooh, had a uh, 383 in there. wasn't enough power. He cut the firewall and stuffed this baby in. So I noticed very quickly coming up on the, the truck that the engine is in the back. So what decided that? Uh, my father's a little nuts. <laughs> he wanted to do something different. Yeah. So he made a true mid-engine and it's all Corvette suspension. So it's got a Corvette transaxle. In the back. Rides and handles incredible. It's huh. just uh, like it's on rails. Color is a DuPont tint color. Yep. It's uh, their orange tint. And we just added binders to it. And here we have an LS6. It's uh, got the Magnuson Supercharger on it. Makes 485 horse to the rear wheels. 
and the thing just runs incredible. And, you, and the only thing you left the front was the radiator. Radiator and the fuel cells in the front. In the front. Yep. Coolant tank, and then we got a canteen over there for the power steering fluid. Huh. And you still and, got plenty of storage. And we still got a little bit of usable truck bed in the back, which is good. Yep. Hi, my name's Kevin McGivney. The car is a 34 Chevy Speedstar. Beautiful. Start her up. Corvette. We uh, changed it over to an LS engine and then it already had a racing trans in it. It was already pro streeted and we sent from there to the modifications. In the back we have 17 by 20 inch wheels with 18 and a half inch tires. Idea behind this car is sexy, sassy. The car's name Sasha, the paint's name Sensation. So everything is based on water flow and accents in the car, and you'll see that in the video. As you look down the side of the car, everything has motion in it. So even the front grille and uh, the hood cover, all that is based on that pearl showing up in different contrast throughout the car. When we look at the interior, the seats are handmade out of wood, then padded, and you can see they touch sides to side. The dashboard is again handmade. It is done out of fiberglass. It is four inches shorter because I'm a little taller. Little other details again, the stitch work in it. If you open the door, the stitch work matches. If you close the door, the stitch work matches. The center speaker controls all of our stuff. Underneath of that is our brake system. Underneath of that is the windshield, which is now hidden. Our front windshield 
has been cut down several inches and rounded. And then this is the only we know of true uh, C2 Roadster in the country at this time. You'll see the top of that door has been motioned into the back. The seat backs have been added to add a little more depth to that as well. And then the accent of all the edges, in my opinion, bring out what the original designers thought was. The front grille is a late 50s. I chose the biggest teeth because I wanted it right in your face. Okay. Okay. So we added the 13 instead of the nine. And then they had to be, the front had to actually be cut and raised up to fit them in. And then there's an LED system on top of that. So you'll see the teeth coming after you at night. We enjoy that. Um, then we have special lights up front if we you know, put those on. But yeah, the teeth and that brought us into uh, a mouth idea. Thank you very much for sharing the story with you. Thank you for showing it. I'm Judy Contoys. This is my Ford 1955 Sunliner. I was married in it 62 years ago, 1959. What a story. I'm sure this has many miles on it. It does. It does. <laughs> Unfortunately, my husband passed away last summer, so I'm alone with it now. <laughs> You're carrying on the legacy. Of I am. Care of the car waxing it. Well, my son is. <laughs> and bring it to the shelves. Yes. He'd be very happy. Yes. And I see your shirt there. Yes. Yeah, we had a car show in his honor, yes. Oh, that is awesome. Thank you. Sure, you're welcome.
Hi, my name is Terry from Lancaster, New Hampshire. This is a 1988 Peterbilt all air ride, big block Chevy. Lower down 13 inches, custom chassis. Yeah, it's all air ride, four wheel leveling valves, it's all tr truck theme, trucks are air ride. I wanted something with a split windshield so I could put a visor on it. See, I found it on a stone wall, paid 500 bucks for it. Started with that and then built everything around it. 22 inch wheels, Mickey Thompson's. And uh, this is all custom made back here. Ford 9 inch rear end. Stacks. No, come out of Chrome Shop. Yeah, 6 inch, might have cut, expensive. Uh, at Morrison rear clip on it, it's, it's a custom chassis, stock front uh, C10 Chevy front clip on it. And, and Handles and drives like a go-kart with a big motor in it.
Leonard Luck at the 409 to Pally here. Yeah. 61? Yeah, 1961. Bought it in 1980. Wow. For $900. And this is the second. So this was a survivor that, that you restored. Yeah, it came out of South Carolina. There was no rust. It was six cylinder, three speed. Wow. And then in uh, about 85, I finished it. We had a 283 in it with a three speed on the column. Now it's got the 409, but that's been bored and stroked to 460. Puts out 575 horse. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for sharing with us. Thank you. you. Next pick. I'll let Nick 
can't tell you about this one. Well, it took me a long time to figure out what you were saying when you said car. I figured out it was car finally is what I figured out. And to me, this is a beautiful car. You didn't have to do anything to that to make it a beautiful car. But he did. If you looked under the hood of it, you could see all the great stuff going on here. It's Rick Smith's number 323 out of Quincy, Massachusetts. 64 Buick Riviera. Beautiful silver. And if you look under the hood, man, it is awesome. Thank you for being here. That says Wolfman Jack CD on there that actually plays, and it's illegal to sell them, so I'm giving them away, all right? Rolling up next is our ISCA, no, I'm sorry, there's our Fast Revolution Award, which is sponsored by Fast, which is Fuel, Air, Spark, and Hydraulic Game. This year's winner is now entry number 72, Peter Goodman, Greenland, New Hampshire, and a 1934 Ford Chevy two-door that's black. was 
1957 Chevy Bel Air that start borrowed. Next up, entry 777, Kevin McGibney, Deposit, New York, and a 1934 Chevy Coupe that's red, black, with flames. goes to Jim Cushman from Stratham, New Hampshire, a 1954 two-door that's blue. Our next one was picked by our main representative, Ducky Duckworth. Ducky liked entry number 780. Kevin and Diana Casey from Howell, New Jersey, in a 1940 Chevy sedan delivery that's yellow. <laughs> Mr. Scott Kunish, our main advisor, he liked entry 752, which is Ron Walker from Peru, New York, in a 1967 Chevy Camaro that's red. How are you, bud?
next, Mr. Louis Mayo with the street scene pick. He, like Dave and Joyce Laird, entry number 798 from Bear, Delaware, and their 1957 Chevy is black and green. to our long distance award. This goes to entry number 920, David, and, David Sierra and Susan Roberts from Deltona, Florida in this 1972 Chevy El Camino Red. Of course, you all can see the little boo-boo that's on this, and this happened on the trip to come here. They traveled a total of 1,338 miles to get here. back to as original as possible, maybe do some like period style yeah. upgrades. That's but, awesome. Great talking to you. Yeah, That's thank it. you. Have a good one. Thank you. 
Yeah. 